I love power banks, but some of the power banks I have don't charge things super fast and they also take forever to be recharged. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at this new 20,000 milliamp hour 87 watt power bank by Anchor. This is a great option if you wanna keep larger devices recharged like a computer or an iPad and you wanna have a higher power output on it. This has a built-in USB-C cable on the side. It just tucks in whenever you're done using it. And then on the top of it, there's a USB-C port and a USB-A port. What's so special about this power bank is it actually gives you up to 65 watts of power from one port at a time. So you can have 65 watts from the built-in cable or from the USB-C port on the side. And you can also recharge this with a 65 watt power adapter. That's gonna allow this 20,000 milliamp hour battery to be recharged in about an hour and a half or so. This is another one of the 20,000 milliamp hour power banks by Anchor, but this one takes forever to recharge because it doesn't support the 65 watts of power in on it. So this new 87 watt one is gonna be a much better option because this one topped out at 22 watts of power out and 20 watts of power in. This one tops out at 65 watts of power from one port, or if you use multiple ports, you're gonna get 87 watts that's split between the different ports and this will also be able to be recharged much faster i think this is worth it though because the 1383 is going to be used a lot more than the other one because of that additional power that this is going to give you i've been testing this one with my 14 inch macbook pro and this is doing a great job at keeping it running even while i'm doing video editing photoshop and other apps like that this just does a great job at allowing me to keep working for longer on my macbook pro without having to go find an outlet somewhere to charge it now i found that this has enough juice in it that you can charge a phone anywhere from three to four times you can charge an ipad about about one and a half times. This typically can top your computer up from 50% to 100% about once. Now, if you're using lower current devices, you also have the button on the front that not only turns the display on to show you how much juice you got left, but if you double tap it, it's gonna light up green on top of it. That's gonna show you that it's in the trickle charge mode, so that'll be great for low current devices like headphones. So the 1383 is a little confusing because they call it an 87 watt power bank. Just know that the 87 watts comes into play when you're using multiple ports at the same time. But the most amount of power you'll get out of one port of this is 65 watts. So it's not gonna give your computer 87 watts, it's gonna give it 65 watts. Now Anchor also recommends picking up a 65 watt or higher charger to keep this topped off. And I definitely recommend that because that's part of the reason that you buy this so that you can recharge it faster than the older power bank that I showed you. So I would recommend buying one of the Anchor Prime 67 watt or even 100 watt power adapters if you wanna keep this topped off. That way you can take advantage of the fast charging capabilities. The Anchor A1383 does retail for $60, so this is an expensive power bank when you compare it to some of the other options that have the built-in USB-C cord. And just note, you're gonna to need to spend extra to get a high-powered power adapter for this as well. So who is this for? This is for anyone who's gonna be gone on an extended stay when you're not gonna be able to top your power bank off as often, or if you wanna use it on larger devices, iPads, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, because of that extra power out on it. It's also gonna be for people who are using a ton of power and who are gonna be cycling through this every single day because of that fast charging capability. So if you're looking for high wattage, tons of battery capacity, and fast recharging, I highly recommend the Anchor 87 watt power bank. If you're interested in buying one of these or my favorite chargers for this, I do have links in the description below. If you have any other questions about this power bank, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer it. Like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.